hello people welcome to today's tutorial so today i'll be teaching you how to give um a realistic drop shadow effect on an image in corel draw so some people want to design um something a flyer or whatever and there will be a need to include an image and sometimes not including a drop shadow makes the image look um um somehow not it won't it won't be real it won't look realistic so um today i'll be teaching you how to add drop shadow effect in coral draw to images so if you are new to this channel please do consider subscribing and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you're notified whenever i post any new video so without wasting much of your time let's get started So first of all, what I'll be doing is to um, import the image I'll make use of for this tutorial. So to do that, I'll just go down to File, go down to um, Import, and I'll scroll down to where my image or picture is. Uh, I'll just scroll down to where it is. Yes, so this is the image I'll be making use of. It has no background. It's a PNG file actually. So I'll just select it and click on Import then i'll um, click here to drop it so uh, to make this um, look more effective i'll be drawing a, a shape i'll be drawing a um, rectangle yes and i'll be giving it a color let me give it um this green let me just give it green so i'd uh i would like to reduce the borders of this a bit let me reduce the borders it's too too large okay then what i'll need to do is to bring in my image right here go down shift plus page up to bring it up so as you can see it doesn't really look realistic so to give this a uh, shadow and make it look realistic there are several methods there are two methods of doing this so the first method i'll be explaining is to um, go down to your drop shadow tool so after going out your drop shadow tool you just go down to precepts and you select perspective bottom right so I'll just select this and after selecting it as you can see this is what I have uh, so this is what I have so I, I want it to be a bit darker so I'll just come here and increase this to 50 and I'll increase the fedrin to 5 let me leave it for now at 5 do I might still change it so um, I'll just bring it and drag it here and we're trying to make this look real so guys you just play with it you just play around with it uh, you just play around with it remember your 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 main aim is to make this so sorry uh, remember your main aim if, if it's not working well for you still come back to your precepts and you could just leave it at perspective top right also then you just bring and drag you just keep playing with it guys till it's okay for you yes uh, so guys as you can see this is okay for me this is um this is very okay for me yes uh So guys as you can see this is how it is so i'll just make it um a bit deeper and i'm gonna go down here change it to 50. so as you can see it's it's more darker and uh it's yes this is okay it's more darker and you could just increase the fedrin you just increase the fedrin to let's say 15. yes so as you can see uh let me leave this at 20 instead so as you can see it's more like it's more of a shadow right now it's more of a shadow now and as you can see how you can see it's looking more realistic guys so that's basically how to um give a realistic shadow um to any image as you can see wherever i move it it looks so realistic it's as if she's really sitting on a floor so that's the first method the second method i'm gonna be um explaining is we won't be making use of the shadow tool but we'll make use of our 
um, we'll be doing some manipulations, we'll be making use of some tricks. So to do that, I'll just select this, then I'll copy this image. I'll just click on it, click on it, click on copy, uh, and I'll come back and click on it, and I'll come back and click and click outside here. Sorry, click outside here and click on please, or you hold down control plus V. Then you discover that this image is at two. So what I'll be doing is to go down to effects go down to adjust and I'll be changing it the brightness contrast and intensity so I'll be changing it and I'll be um, reducing them I'll be taking them to brightness to zero contrast to zero intensity to zero then I'll click on ok and after doing this I'll just go down to trace bitmap go to um, quick trace yes as you can see so it will trace this for me and I'll just separate the traced one and I'll delete the original then after deleting it I'll bring it back here I'll bring it to this same point after I bring it to the same point what I'll do is to reduce this so I'll just start reducing this guys so you keep reducing it till um, it's okay for you so I'll just reduce this uh, scale this a bit so I'll reduce this and um, so after reducing this sorry it's looking somehow you see what we're gonna do with it I'll reduce and I'll go to um, effect again go down to blur go down to Gaussian blur and I'll blur this I'll make sure it's blurred well I'll make sure it's blurred well yes I'll still blur it a bit but let me reduce it then you make sure that um, the image just click on ok make sure that this image is in front of the the um, blood um, vector what would I call it so I'll just select the image and hold down shift plus page up to bring it to the front so as you can see um, I already have a realistic um, shadow here if the shadow is too dark for you all you need to do is to um, select the shadow to so select what is behind you hold down alt hold down alt and select it then you go use your transparency tool to reduce how transparent it is so um, that's basically how to do that but for me this is okay guys so guys that's basically how to um, give a realistic um, shadow effect in a uh, coral draw it's very simple guys so um, when next you are making a design I want to give a realistic shadow you could use any of this method but to me I will prefer using this second method so please if you found this video helpful do consider subscribing and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you notified whenever I make any new upload. I release videos every week on, in Photoshop, in Corel Draw, tricks and manipulations, how to design stuffs and all. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.